Hi guys, my name is Nolo and welcome to BN Beats Podcast. I'm here with... Hi guys, my name is Liao and welcome to a podcast where we're going to be celebrating our passion towards alternative beer and alternative music. music. So today we're going to be giving you guys a beer review of... Ho Garden. Yes. Or... Who, I'm going to say... Who Garden? <laughs> they said who? I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Because it's... It's the, Dutch? The bigger the hoop, the bigger well, the hoe. I don't know. It's yeah. Me ho. H-O-E. <laughs> like I, just, ho. I just heard what you said. I just heard what you said. That's what, that's what the streets say. Really? Mm, it's just, really? Fact, if I, today, if I, if I owned, so, I'd be wearing that. <laughs> Are you remember the streets that now? That big hoop. Are you remember the streets now? No, I've always burned. Oh. Not like that. I got woozies. Not like that. I got woozies. But like that. No, I just asked no, yeah, no. you. Yeah. I'm a member of social society. And you know what's up in the streets, so, basically. Uh, social society. <laughs> <laughs> That's the member you got. Okay. No, let's just stick with that. All right. So, yeah. Uh, straight out of Belgium? Yes. Uh, distributed by SAB. Of course. Side. Yeah. Again, another, another, another one. Another one. But, yeah. Imports. Belgian, Belgian beer so it should be good. Yeah. I'm expecting good things. I've had this before, but I've always well. had it on tap. Same. So I'm like, what does it taste like in a bottle? No, nah, it should be good. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go through the um, housekeeping notes for yeah. our audio listeners. And then I'm going to remind you guys of the five criteria. Uh, before I open it, there are instructions hey, bon, Oh yes. on the bag <laughs> on how to pour it. So I'm going to pour it based on the instructions. So basically you pour half of it. Yeah. You shake it up because there's some good stuff at the bottom. Yes. And then you finish pouring. Basically. So yeah, as I said, uh Ho Garden. Or Ho Garden, depending on like which area of the world you're from and you're watching this. Uh hi. And yeah, straight out of Belgium, Who Garden. Founded in fourteen forty five, so they say. Uh categories in L. And the style is a vit. So this is the first time we're gonna be reviewing a vit. Uh, ABV comes in at 4.9. So to remind you guys of the five criteria, we're going to be doing bottling and appearance. Uh, we're going to be doing taste. We're going to be doing the price. Uh, we're going to be doing the availability and whether it beats the commercial equivalent. So, yeah, interesting. I want to ask. You said it's a bit. Yes. What's the difference? I remember we spoke about this, but just remind me again between the difference between a vit and a vice. Yeah, so basically it's predominantly based on like the area in which they brewed. Okay. So they are both wheat beers, mm-hmm. so where fifty percent has to be wheat. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that's for vice. So, mm. but for vit, it can go thirty, but you can maximum could be sixty percent. Got you. So that's the. It does balance. say like belgium yeah, wheat beer. wheat beer so it's basically the original wheat. yeah and vit in dutch means white, white. just like afrikaans basically so yeah. but it is quite pale it's quite white it's paler than a thought but it is like opaque you can't see it's your fingers so pale put your fingers behind you can't see them no you can't i'm gonna in ali that's yeah. why we had to stir the it at the end yeah 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 because yeah, yeah, yeah. it has stuff so it's paler so i think that's one thing that you like it's different to a vice does yours also have stuff in it? <laughs> I don't know. I think you yeah, took all of it. Look. Oh, really? Oh, there's the sediment. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pity we don't have like a... Yeah, a camera. Killer zoom. Yeah. Or oh, even like a camera here. <laughs> yeah, just to like show you guys. Like, you know, like how shows have like a shoe cam? We need like a beer cam. Like, oh, to the, show the actual For the like underneath, sediment. yeah. Sediments, yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So, bustling and appearance, what do you think? I like it. It's so clean and classy. I was going to say clean. is yeah, the one I like thing clean. I get from it. Yeah, I like it. Three point four point nine, clean, naturally cloudy. It says, which yeah. is exactly what it looks like. And it's got like shape, the mm, bottle. It's not it's like different, an yeah. average type. That's true. Uh, I like the cool. packaging, the white and blue, appearance. white and blue and gold. Kind of I works. like it. I really like it. I think it goes well. And I like the fact that they told you how to pour the beer. Ah. And I feel like a lot of beers <laughs> need to do that. Like or even say like at this temperature you're like yeah to something along those lines because I feel like we always sometimes miss that yes like we'll have a beer yes. like on camera and we'll be like <laughs> mm, and then we'll have it like an hour later we're like this is actually this is nice so much better. that happened like a few times yeah a few which times. is so boring because we always think like especially with a lager or a vit or something or a vice you want it cold you know but now yeah. we're like please tell us guys at which temperature. 
yeah. we have your beer at. So we're happy with the bottling and appearance? Yes, I'm happy. Are we doing taste? Yes. Head didn't sit it's for so long, It's so pale. Though. Oh, my gosh. Head it's so light. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Another thing about, like, Belgians, I was about to say. It smells so nice. They include spices mm-hmm. in the in the brewing. That's what the difference. spices? They said coriander, this one? Mm. I don't know that much about spices. So. I don't know much either, but <laughs> yeah. it smells so good. You know what? I feel like you could cook with this. This smells really good, though. It's like vice, but, but different. Mm, mm, mm. I, I want to say vice, but I feel like it's not vice. It's not. Yeah, close, but not it. Mm. Mm, very light. Wow. That's what I expected, though. Too light for me, though. But it's good. No, it's a, it's like, it tastes great. You know why? It's light because it's 4.9. Yeah. It's not light because it's a shit beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know those beers that are like, I want oh, my like, money. no, 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 <laughs> like, this is like, <laughs> I want my money back. Yeah. Ah. Do you get what I mean? No, I get you. Like, I feel like I if it was you. like a 5.2, it would be. Like a little bit higher. Because for me, it's like so light. Like, but this is what I get. Great. You know, for me, it's so funny. On tap, it's even lighter. Is it? Yeah, it is. But you know, but tap on, does but that. But on tap, it's hoppier, though, for me. Mm, it's, it's got a bit more hoppy. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Which is, that's why I'm shocked that, like, yeah, how, okay. like, there's no hops in here. Yeah, it's very, it's too smooth. And I've never said that about it. Like, beer. dude, <laughs> like, that's what I'm being like, dude, but where's the hops? Like, mm. did you Belgian? Mm. You like you should be the standard bearer of what is good. This I get is not. You. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I prefer this because I can actually taste it. Sometimes on tap it's way, way too light. Yeah, no, it's always light, but it's got that crisp hoppiness. And I this get one is just you. like so smooth. I think it's they flat. tried to make it too smooth. Yeah, it's flat. Like it's flat. Mm, mm. That's, That's what I feel. like. I'm like ah, because I was looking forward to this actually, because like you're the first vet. I like the whole god. I like I I don't know maybe because I've had it so many times. Yeah, maybe your palate is so. Yeah, I'm just like I'm used to it now. Yeah. Like I know this is what I'm gonna expect from a whole garden, and now I'm just like it's okay. Is it? Ah, so maybe that's the problem. You, yeah, you've had it so many times. Yeah, I times. feel like if it was the first time, I'd be more like, I'd critical. critique it more. Yeah, ah. exactly. I'd be like, mm-mm, why holy? Mm-mm. But now I'm mm. like, oh yeah, no, I've had this. I know it's like supposed to be like this. Because when I was looking them up, I got excited. Cause... But I feel like this is so good if you're not like a hectic beer drinker. Oh no, this is like for the non, yes. like if you know nothing about beer, but you want something a little bit different. Yes. And you don't know the history of the da 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 This is going to be like so different, yeah. but very, very palatable. Yes. Mm. Yes. But yeah, nah, for me, yo, because no. I'm not that. Me neither. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm that. not that either. Yeah, I could recommend this to someone who doesn't really, really fucks with beer like that. That's what I do. So like everybody that I know, like if I go out with someone, yeah, and they have whole garden on tap and they don't drink beer, yeah. I'd be like, try it. Try it. Uh, and it's always like, oh, oh, okay, this so is not different. so bad, uh, exactly. Okay. Whereas like a beer, beer drinker would be like. You're wasting my money. Basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm that so, guy. I'm that guy right <laughs> you're now. You're wasting my money. <laughs> right now. Talking about that. Okay, I'm happy with the taste. Are you happy with the taste? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Talking about a value for money. Value How for much money. is this? Came in a four pack. Mm-hmm. Got it at tops. I'll almost skip the category. Okay. Because I was going to say, kind of hard to find nowadays. In I a bottle. Like it's so easy to find on tap yes. at restaurants. Yes. <laughs> but also like... I don't know. Story. Is it also a Joburg thing? Because I've f- most of the restaurants that I found it in are yeah. in Joburg. I don't know about Pretoria. But the thing is, because like I said, now they distribute it by SAB. Yeah. So they got a lot of access to that market. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why they're not in bottle stores. Or maybe they too. You know, the first time I ever had this in a bottle was from you. I remember. And now that. I'm having it again <laughs> from you. Yeah. Is like. It- I've when was never... the last time you bought like a four pack yourself? Mm-mm, I wouldn't. Also, I wouldn't. <laughs> then again. <laughs> no offense. Then again. Then again. But offense. Yes. Because I'm. This is not my kind. This is not my go-to. Like I prefer heavier. So you pass by this. Yeah. Like, pick up, like, but I would like if somebody wants to try it, I would be like, yes, try it. Ah, you know what I mean? Like okay. it's a it's a pale vit. Basically. Which is okay if you are not. Yeah. If that's the vibe. And it's new to you. Exactly. And that's what you want. Exactly. So price tops four pack. Mm. Yeah, do this. I know for a fact. <laughs> Cause yeah, I, yeah, import. Because even in restaurants, it's expensive. Yes, so I know. Yes, yes. Now take a guess. I'm gonna say ninety rand. No pressure. So at tops, picked it up for seventy five. 
at Tom's, imagine. It's that Anna Thompson so listening to us. so impressive. For me, it's two ways. It's Anna Thompson listening to us. And they actually like knocking down their resume, I doubt it. Which I also <laughs> doubt. Or SAB is. But wait, saying, why is it so much more cheaper oh, no, than it trying, is in restaurants? Trying to hit the market, man. Hard. Hard. Yo, okay, I would buy it. No, they're making a for push. For that price. Because I feel like <laughs> if it was 90 Rand, I'd be like, mmm. But Not sure. because I'm like, hey, I'm going to be chilling at home with a few friends. Yeah. No, because 75 Do you know what they're trying to do? I suspect they're trying to push more volume now. No, that makes sense, and I agree with that. And good for them, and good yeah. for me and my pocket. for all of us, like for all of us consumers. 75 rand for a whole garden. I think it's pretty good for an import Belgian, and not the Belgium art. Like prefer, yeah, but, but still, that price point is a killer. Man. That is impressive. I know. Point. I didn't know now. <laughs> yeah, now you me know. and you whole garden. No, so, you know my favorite thing about it is that it's it's shareable. Ah, uh, yes. It's a very common thing. Yes. Because like, I feel anybody. like if I rock up to like a chill session with an IPA, it's like yeah. nobody will want to actually like drink it with I me. Think, no, it will split everybody. Someone will like like it. And someone so will just like hate this it. Is, yeah. This is too strong. Yeah. Basically. So this is like, I feel like anyone could enjoy this. Nah, true. Huh. That is definitely true. No, I'm definitely getting some Ho Garden this weekend. Nah, nah, hey. Shout out to you. Shout oh. out to you. <laughs> No, definitely. So availability, what are we saying? Does restaurants do restaurants count? Oh, uh, sure. As like super People go out to, to bars and restaurants. Dude, almost every single restaurant or bar I've been to has Ho Garden now. And it, also, it's more available the more I go out. I'm yes. just like pizzerias. They just like, like yay, restaurants in your face. Burger twara. joints, yeah. So for me, but it's, also not so much in bottle stores. That's the thing because I was like, it's half, dude. Because you are in mm. one sort of market. There's an on tap. You are yeah. readily available. Yeah. But bottle stores, you still a bit rare. Because I think. But why is that? Are they just targeting people who eat at restaurants? I, I, I don't know. know. Beer industry. Maybe they have an agreement with Tops. Yeah. That they want maybe an exclusive contract for a certain mm. period of time. Then they'll push to. Because also Tops has a lot of craft and a lot of imports. All of a sudden, right? Like. <laughs> As a check us to nothing. Us. Pick and pay nothing. Nah, they're watching us, bro. Tops, we see you. Thank you. <laughs> Now stepping up the game, no, we complained a lot yeah, about them. Yeah, we do. Them. So but like, now I'm like, they stepping it up. Maybe they are. I think it's Joe. If you guys are at marketing at Spa and and SAB, please <laughs> SAB, yes, <laughs> please tell us. They're doing something right. SAB. They're doing something right. Tell us if yeah. it's like a strategy. They're doing something right. So but commercial. It, I think it is a strategy, but just tell us. It, it seems like yeah, it's not a commercial. I mean, ever since we started this podcast, it just Spa just keeps stepping up the game. Through. This can't be like impressive, impressive. No, so the last price is a definite yes. Yes, availability we're giving it a half. Yeah, right? half is fine. And then, so commercial equivalent, there is no other vid. Uh, I don't know any vids. There is no, 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 no. There is, but it's not commercial. What is it? It's Bone Crusher. It's Bone Crusher a vid. Yeah, but also I haven't had it in so long. I want to. So I'm like, it. I can't remember what it yeah. tastes like. But you'll be the flag bearer for now. Yeah, so that's gonna, fine. You're gonna get. You can win for yeah, now. For now. For now. No, for now. Yeah. Others are coming for you. <laughs> for now, you cool. You get the point. I can't remember it. what a bone crusher. T- and it was one of the first crafts yeah, I like ever tried. Early, early, but they were like hitting the market early. So now maybe we'll, we should review a bone crusher. Now soon. we should soon. Yeah. Soon. Now that we have like a commercial equivalent, yes. that's like everywhere. Yes. Every restaurant. Yeah. You know, tops. Uh, oh, no, definitely. Yeah. So mm. we're gonna do that. So okay. Recap. Yes. We were happy with the bottling and appearance. Yes. Very much happy with the price. Yes. Taste. Half, half. I said, okay, it's a half because I said no. You I said say yes. yes. Because also I don't want to like, for taste, like the more we do this podcast, the more I'm just like, I don't want it to be oh, biased. I, oh, yeah, like okay, I like okay, this. Yeah. I don't like that. I mean, also I must be like more like, what do other this people would enjoy? Exactly. Please go try it. Exactly. Uh, but I think that's the balance. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'm representing the the hardcore beer drinkers. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my brethren. <laughs> <And> <laughs> of <sisters>. course. <clears throat> the ladies. Yo. What go on? What go on, ladies? I mean, never forget nah. y'all though. I, I don't mean... want to put it out there, but never forget y'all though. <laughs> Not enough of y'all out there, but yes. Yeah, please show up more. Mm. But yeah. No, no. Sorry, we were recapping. <laughs> yes. We said. Price was we good. About bottling and appearance, we were happy. Yes. Um, taste, we were half. 50 50, yeah. Availability, we said half because yes. restaurants, so they had a three and then commercial equivalent, they get it. So it's That's like too high. Four, four. out of five. Four. Four. 
Yeah, Joe, oh, you can't <laughs> but you can't know. Ah, yeah, you can't you can't just like turn back now. That's so high. You said it on camera, That's yo. The so camera high. heard the audience heard. You said it already, right? That's high. You can't go back. But hey. that's what it's designed to be. Like when SAB try and port yeah. something different, yeah. that's what they're hoping for. So Hi. No. that's high. Well done. So yeah, SAB, InBev, whatever you call yourself nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Whoever's but, buying you now. Yeah, Tops Lily. Nah, nah, shout yeah, out. Dude. Y'all are doing a good job. I'm happy. Picked a good one, yeah. Definitely. So to transition to our beat section, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to put the documentary in... The, the description yes please check it out but it was a documentary about wait which one is this now <laughs> tomorrowland <laughs> i'm like yeah you can't yeah you, i know you i know, know, you, you know, know what you usually I do know. usually you're like oh this what 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 then i'm like i know uh, we, i know we are i know oh we no. are okay so i didn't preempt you properly so this is a big event in belgium you see if you say Ah, sorry. Yeah, it but, would be like no. That oh, was that was yeah. a shitty transition on my part. Yeah. You see, now you're like messing me up. Leo. Not doing my job. I'm trying to like. <laughs> I have so many things properly. I have to remember. I know. I'm so sorry. Please. Tomorrowland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Never minutes, too late. Two Never minutes too late. Later. Never too late. No, but it is like a because I wanted to match a Belgian beer with like a big Belgian event that most people should be yes roughly familiar with, even Definitely. though you're not like a fan or a follower. Or, yeah. Most of the bands or the culture, mm. but you must have heard about it. Yeah, like I don't know much about Tomorrowland except that it's at a huge EDM um festival yeah. and it's insane and it's the best. It's like super popular. I didn't even know it was in Belgium oh, until really? like the documentary. the documentary. Yeah, <laughs> I just knew about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Some in Europe. Yes. And a shit ton of people go yes. there. Yes. Every fucking year. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, so guys, we included this documentary just to sort of like balance out the beer itself mm. because then you go into like beer country mm. but mm. they love having fun that side 100 percent. that event is massive it's insane and yeah. i was watching the documentary and they're just like it was a small event yeah and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and i'm just like that's so amazing because it's very difficult sometimes you get scared like we spoke about um festivals in the other episode yeah, yeah. Where it's just oh, like, yes we did we did you get we so did. scared of like is you never know succeed. if it's going to succeed. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's great that Tomorrowland is so huge. And my favorite thing about it, which was also highlights in the documentary, is that it brings together people from different countries. Yeah. Which I really like. That's another thing I picked up because when I was doing my research for this beer, mm. served in 70 countries around the world. <gasps> yeah. Are these was all like European? Okay, also, how many but, countries does Europe have? Uh, Anybody? There's Somebody? A lot. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. At least 40. I know we have. We have, we have 54, 55, somewhere yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, they're also in the US now. Oh, yeah. They're all over Europe. Because when you say wow. Belgium beer, people want to 90 countries. 70. So, so, 70. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> but that's still a lot. 100 countries. Yeah. No, no, yeah. It's still a lot, down. though. Because that's a hectic Dude, reach. I mean, that's already like all of Europe. Basically. I'm assuming. Yeah. Some of the uh, um, it's the United States. The Western which world. means like, yeah. Yeah. So the Canada, yeah, Canada, yeah, the US, Mexico, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. maybe not Mexico, but South America, Probably. somewhere in South America, yeah. and then there's still like the East, which is like all the Asian countries. Yeah, because they they starting to turn towards the beer market now. No, I like, can, yeah, in droves. definitely. So I mean the Japan, Korea, China, China all those well. countries. So, yeah, shit, 70 countries, that's yep. a lot. Because AB InBev is also buying a lot of these markets out. So, mm-hmm. I know they're big in Brazil. Mm. So, that's like, that's the strategy. Guys, like, somebody please buy me, like, shares <laughs> for SAB. Yo, you'll be like, yeah, you'll or be like, set, right? Eh? You know, I mean, what a beautiful gift. You'll like, I want flowers, I want diamonds. Yeah. I don't want a car. I want shares. <laughs> and like, all the free beer you can get. Dude, no. All the my- Can you imagine having shares called I say Bjorko Heineken? Yarrr. Nah, dude. You'd be like... You wouldn't be this person. If you want to birch me. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be this person. Now you know. Now you know. But yeah, dude. So tomorrow I started in 2005. That's so early on. Right. I was in grade something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like necessarily the greed. When uh, to show you how, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. how way, I was gonna yeah, grade something that way back. Heck Nine thousand people the first time. That's still a lot That's of people. That's successful, dude. <laughs> that is successful. I was like, dude, for first, us to be like, oh, we were so small when we started. I was like, dude, but nine thousand. But they had like big artists then, but artists that were big 
in Belgium. Got you, got you. Yeah, so fast forward to 2000. That's a lot of people. Dude, fast forward to 2019. I'm even scared to know how many people attend now. Okay, Dude, hit, 2019, 400,000 people showed up. But it's like, it's tranched over like two weekends. But Oh still, my gosh, that's a lot of people still. That's an average of like 200k per weekend. I was just like, dude, what? Where do you put How all do you, these people? Exactly, I was going to say. No, like, but it's Mario massive. the desert one? Or the, no, 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 it's, no, 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 it's no. not that one. It's a huge field with like a million stages. Because I saw like in the um, drone image, it's yeah. like, it's not a forest, but there's a lot of greenery. It's a huge field. Yeah, a lot of green. A lot of stages. Guys, 200,000 yeah. people. Yeah. Like. Okay, wait. How many people can fit in the dome? Do you I don't guys know. know? I don't know. 90,000. It should be around there. 90,000? Yeah. Oh, that's why I fill up the dome was a big deal. That's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot, dude. 90,000? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. And that's like now... So, 90,000 is the dome. Yeah. So, take... These people are 200... To the, and these people have to camp there? They so, there's camping live, facilities. Everything food, you think of at a festival. Showering. Yep. And that is like high end. Because the whole world comes there, dude. So everything is like top tier. Yeah. Yo. But also yeah. the amount of money that is made and that goes into it. Yeah. So a, a day pass. Yeah. Is 1.7 in our rands. 1,000 rands. Yeah. 1.7. A day. One day. Just a day. Without camping, without... No, just one day you show up, you have fun. Food. No, no. Tag. Your wristband says, what's that now? That's it. Like, that's so it. what is a weekend pass? A weekend you know? pass goes for like 5.3. Yeah, that's the cheapest. Like if you maybe That's bringing, like entry level. Yeah. That gives you access to like the three days. Mm-hmm. And maybe if you bring your own camping equipment as okay, well. Okay, yeah. So yeah, 5.3. You haven't even taken a flight yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the way. Flight the guy wanna food, drinks, yep. drugs. And you and you buying all this in Europe, by the way, using yeah, euros. no, you're, it's euros now also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's no, so but steep, like, but uh, also really worth it if you guys can afford it. Listen. Sure. Even if you can't just watch the documentary. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just. You get a better at better least, taste. At least it's better, better than taste. nothing. Yeah. No, but like the <laughs> humble beginnings really. Say something. Mm. Not so humble for them. I was gonna say what humble yeah, beginnings. Yeah, not so humble for 9, them. Nine thousand like, people is not humble yeah, beginnings. No, but, that, but for them. Because the reason why I wanted to like plug that is because did you know? So I said when I started the episode that the beer is like nineteen or fourteen. 45. Yeah, like it's old, old. Wait, does it say on the packaging? Yeah, fourteen so, forty-five. Hey, how many years ago? So that's they? kind of a, like a a thing thing. What do you so, mean a thing thing? That's when this town called the Old Garden mm-hmm. started actually brewing. But they stopped after like the World War Twos and so on and so forth. So come nineteen, I think sixty-seven, a guy who used to be a milkman in that town decided, hey, hang on, let's just start a brewery all over again. Like I used to help out in these breweries, I miss it. This is what he started. One person. This is the milkman. Yes, this is the original milkman. Started that. That is so cool. God help. Other breweries helped him to like be on his feet. And yeah. Then, yeah, the vultures came and just spread it all over the world. That is impressive. He's probably rich now, so I'm psh- yeah, he's not even. Can you? About yeah, it. he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like I'm I was once a milkman of the World War Two. From II. milkman to this guy, bro. But like, also, I'm sure if if he was a milkman in World War Two, he's I don't know if he's still dead or alive. Nah, he was probably young then. Like you know, the kid mm, that like picks up the bottles and helps you. around. He just used to but clean. also, I'm sure now that's generational wealth also yeah, no. i mean his kids now he's kids, kids and his kids. Kids, kids are just like <laughs> we, we own whole garden Sad. so that's I mean, impressive that's impressive yeah guys check out the documentary please yeah, i definitely. think it's cool my favorite thing is that it's strictly an edm oh is that that's like you know what i mean because <laughs> I, I, get feel it, like, I get it that's not a thing no it's not no it is a little bit but it's mm, not a thing to that extent like it reminds me of what's that one in in South Africa bro. Ultra is it Ultra? Yes! yes I know sorry that's what I know yes. but Ultra is like one day no? or is it a weekend I don't know I can't remember there's I went no once there's no there's camping there's no camping no yeah. there's no camping but it's even though there's no camping is it one day I can't remember yeah neither can I but I, if it's no, not it one day mo- then it's two days yeah I think it's two days because there's so many acts exactly it can't be one day oh, but Ultra I think it's coming yeah. back this year is it I think so fingers let us crossed. know guys no, at least we crossed. have a South African equivalent if you can't afford 5,000 rand weekend pass yeah. <laughs> or 1,000 or whatever flights. excluding flights and food yeah. go to Ultra Ultra's at least, worth it at least that's worth it especially yeah. like if you just want to party oh, it's so fun it's like Red Bull and Vodka party. vibes like yeah. the whole way you just Red get lost 
lost. Podcast shots, 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 shots. <laughs> <laughs> you just get lost in it, man. I love no, it. No, definitely. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, check out the beer. Yes. Can we say that? Can we say that? I would say, me, I would say check out, especially if you're not like, because one thing I've noticed about our podcast is that there are people who don't really drink beer that's too uh, much. Ah, yeah, that's true. And that's I'm true. like, well, if you're not like a hardcore beer drinker, try this. No, no, this definitely you should check it out. And it's in a lot of restaurants. It is. It is. So it's also easy, like sometimes if you don't want to buy a whole four or a whole yeah, four pack, ne? Yes. Sir. It's not a, if you like, I don't know, I don't want to waste just my money, even though it's only the only one ran, which is crazy. Dinner. Then like you can just go to a restaurant and be like, even you can even ask for like a 300 mil. Because usually they have either 300 or 500. I like their glass, though. I like their glass. Oh, that fat that glass. With the, you hold it like this. <laughs> I love I'm it. I'm going to put a picture. I love it. I'm going to no, put a picture. I love that glass. I love though. it. It's just like, you feel like, it doesn't feel like a 500 mil glass. Yeah, because it's heavy. It though. feels like. Yeah, I like it. I it feels like a cool. one liter. It's worth buying. It's just, it's worth ordering just to see the just glass. Just for the glass. Yeah. Definitely. It's such an experience, which I love. So, yeah, guys, feel free to check out the beer. Yeah. Please check out the documentary that we're going to link down here somewhere yeah and yeah are we signing off yes so yeah good times open minds